Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. In this today's video, I will solve the fourth problem of our May long contest that is called degree of polynomial. It is kind of our mathematical uh, type problem. So let's get started. Our problem uh, name is degree of polynomial that I said before. Uh, let's read this problem. In mathematics, the degree of polynomials in one variable is the highest power of the variable in the algebraic expression with non-zero coefficient that we know from the uh, degree of polynomial concept if we don't know the degree of polynomials concept i will suggest you first of all learn degree of polynomial what is degree of polynomial or how to find the degree of polynomial Th uh, then you will come this to this problem otherwise you will face problem okay chef has a polynomial okay in one variable x so, uh, with n terms the polynomial looks like a0 dot uh, x to the power 0 plus a1 dot x to the power 1 that we know the from the uh, equation of the type of the degree of polynomial so find the degree of the polynomial we need to find the degree of the polynomial okay here is a note that is very important to solve this problem that it is guaranteed that there exists at least one term that means it is guaranteed that they are saying it is guaranteed that we have at least one term with non-zero coefficient okay our input format is test case and then first line of each test case contains of a single integer n that is the number of terms in the polynomial how many terms will available that is the n that is n terms okay then the second line of each test case contains of n separated integer okay the ith integer a i minus one corresponds to the coefficient x i minus one okay fine okay now what will be the output the output for each test case output in a single line the degree of the polynomial that is said at the uh, top of the question find the degree of the polynomial okay yeah these are the constraints and the input form is is that test case is four and one is the value of n and the value of this five look at that our five is now our coefficient uh, it uh, makes sense that uh, here is written in the number of terms in the polynomial okay second line of each test case contains of n space separated integers and these integers like our the value of n is one and then this is the five like and this five is called coefficient and it can't be zero number one thing just this five is called the the coefficient and it can't be zero it can be what it can be zero then look at that the explanation test case one there is only one term x x to the power zero with coefficient five yes five is the only one value that means the coefficient is 5 and the term is what x to the power 0 because uh, look at the formula that a 0 that is our coefficient 5 and x to the power 0 so our output or result will be what result will be 0 and check it the output 0 and now go to the next input to the value of n is 2 and our coefficient now 2 uh, and uh, uh, number one is minus three and another one is three so the polynomial will be the minus three into x to the power zero yes then plus three in x to the power one and uh, if we have uh, one more value or one more 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 and more value the equation right look like that minus three dot x to the power zero plus three dot x to the power one plus uh, something dot x to the power two plus something dot x to the power three like that so minus three dot x to the power zero plus three dot x to the power one uh give me one thing which one is maximum minus three or three obviously three so the three is now our uh what three is our uh coefficient the three is our coefficient and the x to the power one so our result will be one makes sense thus the highest power of the x highest power of the x with non-zero coefficient is one because our coefficient is three that is non-zero and the highest power is what one okay then the polynomial our third uh, test case is three and zero zero five uh, can you tell me zero zero five with those three numbers which one is maximum the maximum in five and five is what the coefficient non-zero coefficient 
and if I put these three values in a list what will be the index number of 5 obviously 2 so the result will be 2 so our logic is we uh, receive the value from keyboard or users and put in a list and we will find the highest number of index with non-zero coefficient this is our logic now go to the code look at that first of all I take the values of test case then I take the values of n that will be the number of coefficient and then n like in the value of n is 2 so I uh, took this value uh, 2 and put it the number so this number is a list it will return me to a list and now what I'm doing that I made this number uh, list is reversed but why is reversed cause look at that example 0 0 5 1 2 4 0 minus 3 3 if I uh, go first to last it will uh, uh, take more time but if I come from last to first it takes a uh, very small time off because 0 0 5 the result is ending of the uh, position 1 2 4 ending of the minus 3 3 so first of all I reverse the whole list and why uh, I need this enumerate function because uh, without this enumerate function I can't find the index number and the coefficient with with alone uh, I need the uh, non-zero coefficient with that index number so I use the reverse and enumerate function to find the index number as well as or with the coefficient and my logic is if the coefficient is not zero I will print that coefficients index number so my logic is if e not equal zero that means if our coefficient is not equal zero I will print the index number of that e, uh, of that coefficient okay now run the code okay our input is uh, pin uh, just copied it okay I made this okay okay look at the output below uh, achha, okay I'm okay our first value is 4 and then 1 and then 5 the output is 5 oh sorry I am printing the score high sorry degree of polynomial okay 4 uh, 1 and 5 that is 0 now 2 minus 3 3 2 minus 3 minus 3 3 the output is 1 then 3 0 0 5 3 0 space 0 space 5 the output is 2 then 4 1 2 4 0 4 1 2 4 0 the output is 2 this is the problem and in the next video I will solve the fifth problem of this contest thank you so much